Hi, remember me? The fairy said in a merry voice. I am Serene, the sausage dog fairy. Of course we do, said Rachel at once. Welcome to Tingpington. Everything about Serene seemed bouncy and bright from her dark green poker flowered dress to her bob red hair. Her fatly nose scrunched up as she smiled at them. I am so glad I found you, she exclaimed jumping up and down on Rachel's hand and clapping her hands together. I hope and hope that I'd find you in a quiet place so we could talk straight away. This isn't exactly quiet, said Trusty, casting a nervous glance over her shoulder. Shoppers could come down this aisle any minute. I am sure they won't, said Serene. She dwelt over to a nearby shelf and handed on a rubber pig and landed and landed on a rubber pig toy which let out a loud oink. Serene shot upwards again and squealed with laughter. Widows would love that, she cried. I have to get him one when he comes home that is. She sat down and her smile faded a little. Is there still no sign of him? asked Rachel. No one has seen him, said Serene. But I heard a rumor, and that is why I'm here. What sort of rumor? Krusty asked. I was feeling miserable this morning, said Serene. I've searched everywhere, and I've asked everyone I know. But I haven't seen any sign of him. Not even a single paw print. I was starting to think that maybe I would never find widows. Rachel hope hopped on from one foot to hop from one foot to the other in anticipation. I was sitting outside my toadstool cottage from a bunny. When a bunny hopped up to me, Serene went on. He was holding a letter in his mouth, written on a piece of bark. It was from his snow bear cousin in the ice mountains. I did not know that it could write on bark, said Trusty. I did not know that bunnies could write, said Rachel. The snow hare often writes to tell him, about the silly things that the goblins do, said Serene. Bunnies are such gossips. The latest news that was that a goblin had set up a puppy grooming shop. He had sent out adverts to everyone in the mountains. The snow hare did not know about widows, but as soon as the bunny got the letter, he thought of me. The goblin must have widows, said Trusty. With the help of the magical collar, he could be the best puppy groomer in the world. Exactly, said Serene. I have to find out if Widows is being kept prisoner in Goblin Grotto, but I do not know how to get there without being spotted. I have a feeling that I would stand out in the Goblin Village. We'll, well, we'll help you, said Rachel at once. We've been there before. If that goblin has widows, we'll rescue him. We have to get the magical collar back too, said Trusty, thinking of the puppy grooming parlor. Without it, puppies everywhere are facing a really, really bad hair day. What shall we do with our trolley? asked Rachel. I know that time will stand still while we have gone. But it isn't right to abandon it in the aisle. I've got this, said Serene. She waved her wand, and there was a flurry of sparkles as the girls and their trolley shrank to fairy size. Rachel and Trusty were smaller than the two toys in the bucket, and their gossamer wings shimmered under the shop's light. With another flick of her wand, 
Serene lifted the trolley up to the higher shelf. Rachel and Trusty flew up with it and then pushed it behind a pattern of puppy pets. It'll be safe there while we are away, said Serene. And as for us, she peeped over the edge of the shelf and waved her wand in a circle. Instantly, a sort of whirlpool appeared below them. It was deep blue, and but it glimmered with fairy dust in every color of the rainbow. Time to dive into an adventure, Serene said, winking at Rachel and Trusty. Side by side, the three fairies took a deep breath and jumped.